morning, guys. A little cold here. That's why I got my robe and my sweatshirt on and warming up a little bit. But the valley of decision. So it's just time, guys. Well, it's all been about everything's about politics and you know decision time and all that. But you know what, guys? We're so worried about who we voted for and that we're free land. Look around, guys. We're a captive nation already, pretty much. It's going to get worse if we don't choose to turn. Turn to the right, not to the left. And that's not a political message. We're in that valley of decision. Turn from our wicked ways. Got a couple scriptures here, guys. This is birth and prayer. Sorry for the book. I'm going to Jeremiah 13, 20 through 26, 1 Peter 2, 1 through 10. America in the Valley of Decision. Really, it's the Valley of Moab. Guys, it's not, if we want to be free, then pray. Seek God for direction, divine intervention. It's not about who we elect anymore, guys. It hasn't been. I'm not saying don't get involved in that. What I'm saying is pray. It's who we pray for, not who we vote for. This morning, four posts. I even confronted Facebook on it. And they deleted them, took them off, buried them. They make it seem like they're, you know, they don't, sen they don't come out blatantly and censor me. They're doing it behind the scenes of Ferrisley. They're hiding in plain sight. And I confronted them about it. I don't get a post that says this is against community standards like I used to all the time because I'd repost that stuff and confront them. Confronted them about the satanic cult in Illinois that's devouring our children. Reminds me of the Hitler, what Hitler did with the Hitler youth, guys. They're after our children's minds so they can, by the time they get older, they're warped, twisted, and it's demonic. We think we're a free nation. We think we're a godly nation. There's thousands of churches on every corner. I live in a major metropolitan area. I can pick certain streets. It's either shopping centers or churches. Every corner there's a convenience store, shopping center, or a church. Then why are we in such sinful nation? Why are people connotating that we're like Babylon? Well, we are, guys, because we worship the almighty dollar more than we do Jesus. Sorry. It's true. I'm not saying there's not a lot of good, solid people. There's not some good, solid Christians. <laughs> there's even some in the government. There's just not enough. There is enough because of the blood of the Lamb. So that's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying we've got to pray more about these people. Because the enemy is out to destroy this world. He's out to destroy this land. And we're going to become a captive nation if it keeps heading the direction it's heading. <clears throat> we already are. Mask mandate, vaccine mandate, name it, pick one. Pandemic. Went to the store yesterday. It looks like the halfway apocalypse. A third of the stores are empty. They're creating this phony stuff, guys. There's no shortage in the kingdom. There's a shortage of Christians that are actually praying. How we talk, spit out stuff, sensationalize things, hokey pokey stuff, worship rock and roll songs, and call it church. Crazy stuff, guys. Literally. I see some of them on, and it's like, man, it reminds me of when I was 18 and high as a kite on every drug you could think of. Rock and roll and going to the concerts. Watch Leonard Skinner, The Who, whatever, you know. No different. We've got to make that change, guys. That valley of decision. Multitudes in the valley of decision. 
No more games, guys. It's a rubber meets the road message, honestly. Let's get it done. Me too. This is not you do it and I'm just going to, you know, because I hate those messages. That's out of First Peter. There's no secret revelation. It's one of my messages. Look it up. Guys, it's time to change. We want this world to change. We want America to change. We may not even be a nation, guys, but we're still going to be a Christian people. We may not be a nation, guys. Right now, we're not. We're, we haven't been heading towards a cliff. We're in free fall, guys. We're going to hit. We're going to hit hard. It's just a matter of how hard and where we hit and if we, what we, who survives when we land. <clears throat> Look around, guys. It's not just the mask mandate, and it's not just the vaccine mandate. It's the things that they're preparing for. And we better be prepared in prayer and fasting and dedication. That's why I put that message out about 5 a.m. Weep and pray between the porch and the altar, guys. I can't emphasize this enough. We want change? Change. The value of decision, guys. We want to be on the mountaintop. We want to, you know, worship mob. It's, man, it's like, it's like nuts. You guys are on steroids. It's the wrong kind of steroids. Come on. Time to get real. You're not going to get this. When it's 5 in the morning, there's a reason why it's 5 in the morning. One, it's the time of grace. 5. Okay? Two, it's quiet. No one's around. You don't have the YouTube, the Facebook, the telephone ringing, the cell, nothing. If you don't want, you can leave everything turned off and turn to God, tune to Him. Three, it's a personal relationship. You get things and understandings that you need. Me too. We all need them. We can share them. That's great and awesome. But you need that personal relationship. Just I do too. We all do, guys. And it's that's why it's there's no distractions if you choose not to pick up a distraction. We're distracted by the news media, we're distracted by the computer, we're distracted by the work schedule, we're distracted by family and life and schools and you can lay all that aside. At five in the morning when you first wake up, get a cup of coffee. I do, you know, of course, but you, you might not. You might be a tea person or whatever, but you might just be drinking water, which is probably better for you, I'm sure. But, you know, I like my coffee, so I have a cup of coffee, start praying. But the first thing I do is, Lord, what do you want me to do first? Get up, read my Bible, pray. What do you want me to do? Study. How do you want this day to start? And then I launch into the prayer. But after, I even ask for direction on that. I always pray first thing in the morning, but it's just, you know, do I sit and drink my cup of coffee and pray? Do I, you know, study the messages sometimes? I mean, that's where I get this, guys. It's, sometimes it's in dreams in the middle of the night. Sometimes it's early in the morning. That's where I got these scriptures from, guys. It's very specific, point blank. The Lord speaks directly to me on the scriptures, and he wants to speak directly to all of his people, but we're not deciding to do that. We're deciding to just be the Facebook guru. They're not going to change at all by sparking, voting different people in. None of that's going to change except through us making that decision to change, pray. The reason why you have to pray is because that's the only way you're going to get direction from him. It might be directing you to the word. It might be directing you to him talking directly to you. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word. It's there. We're not getting there because we're not going there. We're too busy with other garbage. And that's what the enemy wants. Love you guys. But man, we've got to change and come out of this valley of decision. 
because we might be minutes away, days away, hours, weeks, months, years, but we're there from this nation crumbling before our very eyes. But God saw the beginning from the end. There's a reason why he's letting it crumble. We say we're a godly nation. Now this one's free. Two years ago in prayer, he spoke to me, he said, that America has more idols than India. Thousands, India has like 3,000. Well, you know what? How many versions of the Bible is there? I wrote a book and then Amazon banned it because I, they said I plagiarized because I used the new King James Version, which I should have just stuck with the King James Version, honestly. But the new King James Version, somebody copyrighted it. How do you copyright the Bible? Because they changed it. It's it's like the new Facebook name, Meta. It's Tower of Babel, guys. So is all these different versions. I'm sorry to tell you that. You better be careful. There's 43,000 different churches or 4,300 or whatever. There's so many of them. Every flavor, it's like Baskin Robbins. No, it's not. There's one, one God, one Jesus, one Holy Ghost. All three are one. The Bible is a living word. There's some so solid, constant truths. And you better start deciding. We better start deciding. We're still going to be his people, but we may be a captive people, guys. We're heading that way at a rapid pace. This is not to put fear in you. This is to say, wake up and turn, arise and shine. I don't even like that new saying, awake. We should have already been awake, guys. We should have been praying already. That's why one virus wiped out the church, because it never was as powerful and as strong as we make it out to be. Because we weren't on our knees seeking him, weeping and praying. And I'm not talking about the physical manifestation of your knees. I'm talking about prayer, the real prayer. You know what I'm talking about, guys, not these ones that just popcorn prayers that hit the ceiling and bounce right back and knock you in the head. I'm talking about getting a hold of the true and living God. Love you guys, but we better turn or we're gonna burn. Might not, might not burn in hell, and we might, but this country is, is, is crashing and burning all around us because we're in free fall. Don't believe me? Go walk out your door and go to the store. Pick one, anyone, or go anywhere. Pick up a paper, look at the news. Trash and garbage, fear, pandemic, lies, deceit. Facebook is full of it. Why? Because of the money. There was an article I have, you know, I don't believe everything on there, but you know, I'm trying to pray about a lot of sermon, but I'll wear you out. But about Facebook signing some deal with China for billions of dollars. Guys, we're being sold out to a foreign land. My dad fought in Korea, and one of his stories was he was in Japan day one when it started. He was in the Navy. Well, he flew in a squadron called Lamplighters. They dropped flares for the Marines or the Army, whoever needed them. 16-hour missions, guys. They orbit the battlefield all night long. It was a valley of, uh, yeah, Pusan, I think. There was just a handful of Marines, hundreds of Marines left in there by, you know, the by the first first week or so into the end of the war. My dad was, a, they were the first crew there. They were in an old PBY plane. It was a patrol boat plane. Plane that could land on the ocean. Planes don't land on the ocean, guys. It just, I mean, it was a old rickety, less than 200 mile an hour plane. <clears throat> They're lucky they didn't get shot down. It just the technology wasn't there. In the, <clears throat> but when he flew in, he said he felt like every gun in the Chinese army was aimed at him. They had served over there for three years. Guys, I believe him. He said the Chinese, not the Koreans, North Koreans.
what emerged out of that in South Korea is one of the largest churches in the world. Guys, we can turn this around if we turn, but the direction we're heading, I care that you get the vote, but who cares that you get the vote, honestly? I'm going to still vote, of course. Absolutely. I'm not telling you that. I'm not saying don't get involved in the politics. I'm saying pray what you do with what God's given you for direction. Pray for these people that are in charge. There's a couple of them that are in charge right now. I pray for them all the time. DeSantos, you know, and he's got a very ill wife. Pray for her. Pray for her. You know, she's fading. they're facing a pretty strong battle. But he's making a stand. So is the governor of Texas. The governor of South Dakota. Different governors. White House, man, they're they're eating themselves alive, guys, honestly. They're devouring and just don't care. Why is this Fossey guy even still around? Honestly, he's a total idiot. Pray, seek him, turn. Why are we in such turmoil and dismantling and destruction? Because we haven't been as a church standing in the gap. I don't know where America's going to land, guys. Right now, it doesn't look good. My first book that was written in 2015 is that, it, that we still had time and a promise, and we still do. But not if we don't turn. America has become a prideful, ungodly, idolistic nation. It's not that God wants to squash us. He wants the pride out of our lives. He wants it to be, he wants to be who he is in our lives. He wants to be first, not second, third, eighth, 500th down the line. Not an afterthought, not a in God we trust. Man, guys, come on, give me a break. That's the phoniest thing ever on the dollar bill. Look at the dollar bill. Look at all the other stuff that's all you know, weird pyramid eye, crazy stuff. I'm not a conspiracy theory, guys. Reality. A reality check. Pray. Turn. Seek him. Well, he may, yeah, it may be found. Love you guys, but we've got to turn. We want this, we want this land that we live in to be a free land again. It is. At five in the morning. Man, is it? I mean, I have no distractions. I'm free. I can choose to pray. I can choose to turn on the computer and surf the internet and Facebook, which is a bunch of lies and, you know, phony baloney at best. I don't even want to be on there anymore, honestly, but I still am. I'm still praying about it, but man, I want to, I want to turn that off and burn that page down. Tower of Babel, confusion, made it, just craziness. The very first post that they put out when they changed the name was two older lesbian ladies and all this crazy circus looking stuff. Oh yeah, that's sin. Sorry to tell you that. You know that. The world doesn't, they don't think anything of that. Why all this deviant sexual stuff? Because we haven't turned. We think it's okay. We think we can just, you know, oh, okay, accept everything. No, God is drawing the line. It's been drawn. His name was Jesus, the blood of the lamb. The woman that, the woman that was caught in adultery, where was the guy? But the woman that was caught in adultery, go and sin no more. I forgive you. Where's your accusers? But he doesn't want us to go and sin no more. So, guys, you're not going to get all this stuff. From me or another preacher, you're going to get it directly from him. That's the hour we're living in. That's Joel's army. Don't break your ranks. <clears throat> Quit trying to be a general when you might be an intercessor in prayer or a person that, you know, it's, it's all needed. Yes, the money thing has been a, a phony baloney thing too in the church, but it's needed, some of it, in the right places to support the gospel to move things where they need to be, to have the doors opened, to feed the people, to do the things we need to do. 
or that God would have us do, but we're not going to get it without direction. It doesn't matter how much money you have or don't have. If you don't got to have direction from God, you've got nothing. But a worldly view and gain, we've got to turn, guys. We, I didn't say you, I said we. Let me keep that in your mind. We, I am not the the preacher that says, you do this and I'll just, you know, I'll skate because I've arrived. Did Paul say, the chief sinner amongst you. Love you guys. Turn America from our wicked ways. Love you guys.